How's everybody doing today? Tommy here, Bible Believer, KGV 1611. It's um, April 13th, Saturday, 2019, and um, it's early in the morning. I'm getting ready to do a, a run before I go off to the big bad world and um, go to work for a little while. But I wanted to do a quick video and <laughs> I figured I'd do one right now, except uh, rather than in the truck later. Uh, you see most of my videos are in the truck. But um, just wanted to re-establish who really runs the world. Um, you know if you watched one of these videos and the devil has been preventing people from watching my videos um, because it's truth. I, I, I'm not eloquent a speaker and I am not a pinup boy. So a lot of people will pass by my videos. That's fine. Um, I have confidence eventually in these last days that people will gravitate towards the truth. And I've seen in other people's videos that they, they, they get seven, six views, 10 views, two views. Three views. I get less than that. I get zero. <laughs> you know? But praise God that I'm physically able to do it. And I'll be faithful to keep doing it because I feel I'm supposed to. But anyway, I've said that before and I just want to keep doing it because people might be saying, oh, wow, this guy's a nut. He keeps making videos. Nobody's watching. But anyway, um, who really runs the world? I mean, if you think President Trump. Obama, Bush, Clinton, Reagan, Carter, Ford, Johnson. They're the presidents in my lifetime. Of course, I don't remember Johnson and I barely remember Nixon. Um, but they didn't run the world or country. Most people think that. And they'd be wrong. Um, you have elites in powerful positions. The names you never heard of. And groups you never heard of. Like the Rothschilds. The House of Rothschild. Um, the, Bilderberg, uh, the Bilderberg Group. The Club of Rome. Trilateral Commission. Um, Department of Foreign Relations. These people, these groups, are the ones that control the world. Um... The people with the most money control the most world. They control the world. They make the decisions. Nigel Rothschild said in the 1700s, um, I don't care what puppet sits in the, in this chair uh, uh, in the, as the Prime Minister of England. The person with the most money makes uh, runs the country. And I have the most money. That's what he said. And he was right. Um, now, the president does have a say. And, um, you know, he's the guy that we, we look at, we see, that we, we, we see. Um, Carol Quigley said, he was a professor at, at Georgetown, and he was a mentor of Bill Clinton. And he said, the Republican Party and the Democrat Party are, f we, we, we make them different enough where they conflict, but they really don't, and nothing really ever gets done. We've had two clean presidents um, in the past. Um, we've had two clean presidents in history that I can see. Even George Washington was a Mason. Um, Kennedy, even though his family was among the elite families, he was against, he was against secret societies. He was against... Um, he was against, um, the, the Federal Reserve, he wanted to get rid of that, he wanted to get rid of the CIA, um, he, he didn't want to go to Vietnam, he pulled out of, um, he pulled out of, um, um, going to Vietnam, wanted to do that, he fired Alan Dulles, who was the leader of the CIA, and, um, that was a deadly decision for him. Ten days before he died, he said the seat of the president has been in the past designed for 
um, to make to strip people of their freedoms. That was ten days before he died. If you listen to his his um, speeches, and most of them they're mostly conservative speeches. He couldn't be a president. They, 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 the Democrats are so stupid. They, they think they go, oh, we got, we had, we had Kennedy. He couldn't be. He couldn't. He couldn't get in there today. You know what I'm saying? It's impossible. Um, so he he wanted to get rid of those things, and um, you know, Roosevelt said that um, nothing in politics happens by accident. So you know what that means? That means the wars, all that stuff. You know, Roosevelt said, you know, in 1940, I will, I will not send my boys to war. And what did he do? He got his, did everything he could to get us attacked. He knew that they were coming to attack Pearl Harbor, didn't warn them, and then we got into the war. And he was instrumental. He was a big part of the um, us finally getting the United Nations, that demon-possessed, peacekeeping um, group who has sponsored 90 wars in 70 years. And if you read the Bible, if you read Psalms 2, you read Zephaniah 3, you'll see, and all the chapters, you'll see what's going to happen to them. Um, Isaiah 40, you'll, you'll see what's going to happen to them in the end. The other president that was clean is the one we got now. And if you didn't believe that, you would believe it if you... Taking into account what he did with Jerusalem making him the capital of Israel. The elites don't want that. The New World Order don't want that. That's fulfilling prophecy. Um, and, you know, I could go on and on about the Trump thing, but there's so much about that. I'd be here for three hours. Um, so you have elite people. I mean, you can Google this yourself. Google um, and do the research. New World Order, of course, Club of Rome, Trilateral, uh, Department of Foreign Relations, Bohemian Grove. They go to San Francisco, northern. They go a little north of San Francisco every August for two weeks. The elites, when they go on their break, and it's just they they pray to a forty foot owl. <laughs> you know, uh, they pray to the devil. They they. Uh, if, if, if homosexual sodomite sex is their thing, they have that. If bringing in prostitutes is their thing, they have that. And they do that for two weeks, and they talk about world world stuff. Um, there are other moments like that where they all get together, but this that's the famous one. That one got the cat got out of the bag on that one. So, um, so just I just wanted to plant some seeds on this. Um, it didn't bother me for a little while. Who really runs the world? And now you know a little bit more. Praise the Lord. Um, you could read about the New World Order in the Bible. You could read Daniel, Revelation. It, it's all in that book. Everything you want to know about what's going to happen is in that book. So um, primarily stick to the Bible, but you can find out. Do your little research. Don't depend on that demon possessed new um, um, mainstream media. <laughs> you know, if by the permissive will of God, the devil is the, uh, the ruler of this world, and he's the father of lies, and he is. He is on both accounts. He's the ruler of this world for a time, and he is the father of lies. And the news media is lying to you. Who is their God? Think about that. You know? Don't watch, the, unless you want comedy. I, I watch them here and there for comedy. <laughs> um, but, because I know what's going on. Watch, I mean, remember, they're lying to you. And in the Bible it says, Woe to them who say good is evil and evil is good. Sweet is sour and sour is sweet. Everything they say, I learned this a long time ago. Even before I got saved. That whatever the news media tells you is right is usually wrong. And whatever they say is wrong is usually right. And that's been 100% in my lifetime. So, praise the Lord. I love you. See you at the next video. God bless.
praise Jesus.